Hey everybody, it's me Blanche and I'm so excited today because for the first time on my show, I'm going to share a recipe from India. Now, I love Indian food and I was waiting for an excuse to incorporate an Indian recipe on my show. And when I found these spectacular dates, I figured now is the time to do it. So I'm going to teach you how to make Kajur Burfi, which are date rolls that are very popular in India that feature a variety of spices along with nuts. So you don't want to miss this right here on Feast in the Middle East. Now, if you've been watching my show for a while, you know that I'm absolutely crazy about dates. I've incorporated dates in many of my recipes and I've sung the praises of dates, particularly from Jericho in the Middle East, but I know it's not always practical to get dates from the Middle East. And I was looking for a local purveyor and I finally found them and I'm grateful that they are sponsoring today's show, Julie's Dates. What I love about this company is that it's family run. They started by growing their first date palm in the Coachella Valley of California 20 years ago and the rest is history. Now, what I particularly love about Julie's is that they are organic. They are pesticide free. You're not going to find glyphosate in these dates. They come in these nifty sustainable packages so that when you eat them, there's even a cute little compartment to put the dates in. So like right here, you can like right here, if I open up the date and get the seed, I can put the seed right here. So this is great for like road trips. You don't want to make a mess in the car. You just put it right there. They sell two kinds of dates, one with the pits and one without. I actually prefer the dates with the pits because I feel that they hold their moisture longer. Now I'm going to use these dates as a foundation of my recipe. And if you want to try them for yourself, you can get 15% off by getting two packages. Just go to juliesdates.com and use the promo code HEALTHYDATE15. So now that I've got these fantastic dates to begin, we are going to make the casual burfi, which are date rolls, or you can call them date salami because they kind of look like salami, okay? So I'm gonna start with my food processor. I've already pitted these dates, and I'm just going to fill up the food processor with one package of these dates. So I would say this is about nine ounces of dates that we're gonna fill this up with. So any package of dates will do. Just fill this up. And can I tell you what I love is the flavor. They're so juicy. Look at that. They're super juicy and the flavor and texture is on point. I call this nature's caramel. Perfect amount of sweetness. I've been very happy to use these dates because they're local and they're organic and it just doesn't get better than that, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna make sure that there are no pits in here. Just filling up the food processor. And what I'm gonna do is pulse these dates until they are just finely chopped, right? So let's get this started. There we go. All right, so this is what I've got. They don't have to be a full paste, but just kind of finely chopped. Now I'm going to actually melt these down in my skillet with some coconut oil. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. Coconut oil is fragrant and it'll add a nice touch because we're also going to add some flaked coconut. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put about a teaspoon of coconut oil. Um, it is warm, so my coconut oil is all melted as you can see. And before I start with the dates, I'm going to add the nuts. So the nuts that I'm going to use are some pistachios. I'm leaving them whole for texture and even slightly salted because I like the interplay between salty and sweet. So I'm just gonna heat up. So I've got some pistachios, about a half a cup, and another half cup of cashews. Now you could add any nut you wish. I mean, you wanna put macadamia nuts, go ahead. Uh, they also traditionally use almonds, um, but you know, use whatever nuts you wish. Now I'm going to infuse them with some spice. Now this is traditionally uh, very Indian, some uh, ground cardamom. I have only like about a quarter teaspoon of cardamom ground, along with some cinnamon. Now I'm going to use quite a bit of cinnamon here. This is about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to use half a teaspoon for the nuts and another half for the uh, dates. And what I'm going to do is just stir them around till they're nice and fragrant. You just wanna get the essence of the spices throughout the nuts, right? So I'd just say like 
two minute max just to infuse the nuts. Look at that. If you guys could smell, it's like, it smells like coconut and nuts and spices. It's just an intoxicating smell right now. So I think we're all set. So we're gonna put this aside. I'm just putting them in a glass bowl to stop the heat of the, of the nuts. What I'm gonna do is add a bit more uh, coconut oil to the pan and we are going to put the dates in there now. So about a teaspoon of coconut oil, we're going to put the dates and I'm going to add something special to the dates. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add some mahlab. Now what is mahlab? Mahlab is, it's, a, it's ground up a cherry kernel from the St. Lucie cherry. It's very popular in the Middle East. This is my touch, my Middle Eastern touch. This is not traditional for Kajur Burfi, but this is just my Middle Eastern touch. Mehleb has a flavor profile of, it tastes like marzipan with the essence of rose and orange blossom all in one. And what's great about the Mehleb cherry, cherry kernel, is that it has oleic acid in it, which is very good for heart disease, uh, it's good for managing diabetes. As a matter of fact, some people feel the oleic acid uh, is great for fat burning and weight loss. So I'm here for it. I mean, if there's fat burning and weight loss in any ingredient, I'm gonna toss it into whatever I'm eating. You can be sure about that. So what I'm gonna do is reduce the heat a little bit and just make sure that the mahlab is infused. Um, reduce the heat to low and I'm going to add some coconut, so about Oops, I'm gonna add about a fourth cup of coconut. Now, if you don't like coconut, don't add coconut. This is what's cool about this is add what you like, you know? So I'm all, I only heated up the dates for about a minute or so, right? And just incorporating the coconut right into the date. The reason why I heated it up because it's easier to stir and incorporate the other ingredients. So, here I've got the coconut in there and now I'm turning off the heat and I'm going to add the nuts, okay? So with a little bit of elbow grease, we are going to incorporate everything together. And here's the other half of the cinnamon. I'm just going to add it to the dates themselves. And incorporate all the, the cinnamon with the dates and the nuts and everything. It's gonna melt down really nicely. So what I did was I let it cool off. I used gloves just so I could mold this into my dough, my date roll dough. And what we're gonna do is roll it into a cylinder. So it's going to be, like I said, sort of like a, a, a date and nut salami, guys, okay? So we've got it here. I have some parchment paper so that it doesn't stick. And I'm just going to shape it into a cylinder. I'm just gonna roll it around so it's nice and uniform. There we go. You see it's starting to look nicer in shape. Look at that, that is gorgeous. If you guys could smell it, there's something about, you know, Indian spices and the mahlab is really fragrant too. What I'm going to do is I have some pistachios that I've already uh, ground up in the food processor. So about, I'd say about a half a cup of pistachios. And what we're gonna do is put the pistachios here and I'm going to roll the date roll in the pistachios. This is gonna look really nice. Okay, like, just like that. Let's add a bit more. I like a lot of pistachios, especially with dates. Such a great combination. I think this is where, you know, Middle Eastern cuisine and Indian cuisine in, uh, overlap beautifully, you know? We both love the same things, both of our cultures. We love dates, we love nuts, we love spices, put it all together. And this kajur burfi is like the perfect combination. So you see that, isn't that beautiful? Now to keep its shape when slicing, I mean, you could eat it warm, but generally what they do like to do is refrigerate it. So the, the easiest way is to just roll it up in parchment paper and some foil and I suggest refrigerating it for about two hours. So here we go, we we're just gonna roll it up and just pinch the edges like that. This would make kind of a cool gift, you know, just put another layer of like wrapping paper and give it to someone and say, hey, I got some, I got some yummy treat for you. 
So we've got this. So I can just refrigerate it like this or if you want to add another layer of foil, if you want to put it in the freezer, that's recommended because the foil will make sure it doesn't get freezer burned, right? So I have one for you that's all ready to go. And you will see how it's hardened up here. I had foil on this one. Now look at that. This is going to be easier to slice like that. So let's get my knife here. And we're gonna slice up some of this cajour burfi and you could just see a cross section of what it looks like. You see that? So there's the coconut and the pistachio and the cashews. I'm gonna just kind of slice it in half so you could just see. It's, it's like nature's nougat, you know? It's like nature's toffee. Look at that, that's incredible. So um, I'm gonna try a bite right now for you since you can't, I guess I'll do it for you. Mmm. Incredible. It's almost chocolatey. It's got caramel notes and those spices. Because of the spices, it's a little bit sweet and savory at the same time. Like I decided to use uh, salty pistachios, which I love. It adds a little kick to this. I mean, this guys is nature's candy, right? I didn't have to add additional sugar because the dates are plenty sweet, but the dates are also full of fiber and potassium you know, nutrients that you'll never get out of candy. So why not make nature's candy instead? And again, thank you to Julie's Dates for sponsoring this episode. They also sell a date syrup. So if you want to add, you know, antioxidant rich syrup to your pancakes in the morning, they also have syrup. So make sure you use that code and you can get 15% off. So what do you guys think of this episode? Hope you enjoyed cuisine from India today and to my Indian viewers, what do you think about my addition of mahlab? Do you use it in your cuisine? I would love to know. Until next time, we're here at Feast in the Middle East and we're gonna keep coming at you with some amazing, easy recipes that are healthy as well. I'll just take one more bite here. Mm, oh God, oh.